So here, I'll walk you through some of the sensors and panels that we'll be introducing as part of the solution. And the first one I'll talk through is the, uh, the 1 3 series panel. The 1 3 series panel in the, in the Digidim form was the most popular panel that we have in our range. And now I'm very happy to say that we've introduced a DALI 2 version of that panel. Not much has changed with the panel. So it's still a modular design. The module, the button module here is uh, at the front houses all the buttons and at the back is the uh, DALI connections. And it fits into this uh, grid, which attaches to the back box of the wall. And then you get the frame, which is separate. And you get different uh, finishes, frames, such as uh, black, white, stainless steel, polished brass. And then you can also get the grid in a single gang or a du double gang format. And with the double gang, you can fit up to three of these button modules. It's a nice module, module design. And now we're introducing the 1 3 panels as part of the DALI 2 range. Something new that we're introducing is the, the 1 4 series panels that will be new to this range. And we've got four different configurations of this panel. We have a two button module, a four button, a six, and an eight button. And again, it's a module design, modular design like the 1 3 panels, but in a slightly different way. So the con the assembly of the panels is a straightforward three-piece design. You have the button module here, which has the buttons at the front, and then the DALI 2 connections at the, at the back. And then you have a separate frame. This is the one uh, we supply as part of the box, a straightforward white frame. And then you have the single gang uh, grid, which the module attaches onto. And it's a simply the, uh, the grid, and the button module clicks onto itself and then holds the frame in place. And that's how that uh, is put together. One very good benefit about these 1 4 series modules is that the button module and the grid is a standard 55 by 55 design, meaning that it's interoperable and compatible with several plates from different manufacturers in the industry. For example, I've got one, a glass one here from Gira. And you can simply position the, the grid at the back of the frame, and then the module clicks into place as so. So now, you, now we're introducing this hugely versatile format, and we're compatible with seven manufacturers uh, frames, including Helvar, and out of those seven, there's 15 different ranges of uh, panels that we support, allowing for essentially dozens and dozens of different uh, frames and finish for your specific application and decoration needs. So here's some nice examples here. This is a Schneider Exact frame. You can get them in different colors, but also white and, and glass finishes. Then we've got frames from Gira and Young, and then more simple ones from, uh, from Elko and Merton that we're compatible with. And then what the uh, design also allows is something that uh, we lacked in the 1-3 the series, is now you can position them in the vertical double gang or the triple gang um, type of frame configuration. So, with the frame and the module, now you can arrange it in this standardized vertical or the horizontal format, which makes it easy to uh, mix and match different electrical accessories. For example, this could be your 1 4 series panel, and this could be a USB socket, and the second one could be a, a 13 amp plug, for example, to match all the ex electrical accessories in the room with your. Uh, lighting control panel. So those are the 1-4 panels that we'll be introducing as part of the solution. And the 1-3 panels, which we've updated now to, to DALI 2. Now this brings us on to the, the sensors part of the solution now. And like we did with the 1-3 panels, where it's the most popular Digidim panel in our range, 
We've now chosen the 320 sensor, which is the most popular sensor in the digital range, to offer that as a DALI 2 version. And this, there's four different versions of this sensor. There's a, a black and a white one, and there's also IP versions of the black and white. And this is a very good general purpose all around sensor. It's got a detection pattern of six by eight meters, optimal mounting height of 2.5 meters. And applications such as open plan offices, cell offices, meeting rooms, corridors, classrooms, hospital wards, lobbies, um, the multiple applications with one sensor, very good all round solution. And now available in DALI 2. Now in the spirit of DALI 2, where different manufacturers are interoperable because it's an open standard. We've partnered with Steinel, who is the leading sensor manufacturer based in Germany. And we've introduced five of their sensors into our DALI 2 range in this solution. So let's walk you through those. Firstly, the IR Quadro HD sensor. And this has a few key benefits. It's got four pyro sensors, it's PIR technology. And the four pyros gives you a detection pattern which is rectangular, for one, meaning that there's less dead zones in a particular space because most rooms are rectangle. And also that um, you're maximizing the coverage of that uh, particular sensor. Secondly, the detection accuracy is highly dense. So that's why it's called an HD sensor, high definition. And lastly, and maybe the most significant one is that it has a huge detection pattern, 20 by 20 meters, uh, 20 meters by 20 meters detection pattern, which is almost a competitive size swimming pool, all detectable from one sensor. So a huge detection pattern, really great applications, uh, and it can be mounted from 2.5 meters up to 10 meters. So you can even put this in sports halls, for example. The next sensor is the HF360. Slightly different from uh, the IR Quadro HD. This uses high frequency detection. In the UK, some people call that microwave. And the benefits that uh, high frequency has over PIR is that it can direct, detect motion without line of sight. For example, if there is a, uh, a partition in the wall between, in the way between desks, as they are now uh, putting in offices because of the uh, current um, uh, COVID situation, then this can still detect people behind that partition and keep the lights on. High frequency can also detect people uh, through certain materials such as glass, uh, wood, plasterboard, and plastic. Meaning that it's ideal for solutions such as a, uh, a toilet, where you put the sensor in the middle of the WC area and where there's people behind cubicles with the doors closed, it can still detect people uh, moving and the presence past the doors. Also, stairwells is another application where you have indirect line of sight and a very good application for that as well. The detection pattern is 12 meters diameter from the sensor. One other thing you can do is you get a little application sticker which comes in the box of the sensor and this can be used to mask off up to 25% of the detection pattern. And then you basically essentially stick that onto the sticker and where you have a, maybe a lobby or a corridor or a walkway or a door, then you could mask off that particular detection where you don't want uh, nuisance tripping happening. You can also cut the sticker to size, for example, if uh, you want to reduce it from 25% um, block out of the coverage. Next sensor here is the dual HF sensor. It's HF technology again, like um, the HF360, but this one, this one is more for corridors. So what it has, it's, it's got two sensors, one pointing one direction and one pointing another. And this gives you 10 meters in one direction, 10 meters another with a three meter detection width. So essentially 20 meters by three meters detection. Mounting height are about 2.5 meters. So those are our general purpose, more like indoor sensors. And now we move on to a little bit more specialist applications. And in the, in the current economic climate, one sector that we've seen done pretty well throughout the uh, COVID times, and also still has a quite good 
growth path is the industrial warehouse and logistics sector. And these two sensors are perfect for those type of applications. They are high base sensors. This one here, the IS3360MX, has a 36 meter detection pattern at a 14 meter mounting height. And the second one is essentially the same sensor, but it's the lens is optimized for aisle, but aisle um, ways where there's racking in between the warehouse perhaps. And this has a 30 meter by four meter detection pattern. And those are the five Steinel sensors and our range of sensors and panels that we have in our DALI 2 solution, as well as uh, being an Imagine router, you can also connect Digidim sensors and panels, such as the 321 sensors, 322 sensors that we already have in our range to complement the existing, um, the new DALI 2 range. Now moving on to the next board.